Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and welcome back to Transport Fever, where we're in the Alps, as ever. Uh, we're looking at the hub, as I'm sure you've come to expect, and uh, I've chosen a, a jaunty angle for today in order to just kind of get a feel for everything that's going on all over the place. So we've got shipping happening over here, and we've got trains coming to and fro. So this is the, uh, the Interlaken bulk freight. Now, I've made a minor change to a couple of the bulk uh, delivery trains. So those that are delivering to individual towns, and I believe this is one of them. So I've set uh, a wait till partially full uh, on each of these. Now I've set the, the time limit on those to about five minutes, which is, uh, it, it, it's more than you might think uh, in terms of, of gameplay time. But the, the upshot is it should stop these trains leaving the station partially empty. Um, uh, or, well, mostly empty, at least. Uh, so we've got the same thing happening over here. I've done this in a, on a couple of them. So as you can see, we're waiting for a bit more uh, a bit more fuel before we get up and go. Uh, where was that going to? Uh, Volum by Burn. Um, and, uh, and that should help those trains become just a little bit more profitable while, uh, while also allowing the backlog that starts to build up at town kind of uh, delivery sections to clear a little, as you can see here in Locarno. Uh, we've got, uh, well, we've got 151 bread ready to go, and it's not like we're short of trucks either. Uh, now, the other thing that's going on here, of course, is I've got uh, I've got bread being shuffled between uh, these two individual stops because there are there there is some commercial demand there, so it's it's not like it's not being used, um, but it's just a, a slightly weird way of doing it because I didn't notice when I set this up that this uh, station, this, this terminal, is actually in range of both of these truck stops. Happy days. Um, well, that, you know, there's commercial in range, so it's, it's getting the job done. And let's face it, every time you take a full load anywhere, you do still get paid for it. So that's not the end of the world. Uh, the other thing that I've changed since you've been away is over in Thun, uh, where I've uh, extended my, uh, my distribution route. So these chaps here there we are, uh, to take on the Thun Annex because previously it was only going to Thun Exchange before heading out to the branch to, uh, to handle distribution and the reason for doing that is so that we do now cover the port because as you can see here there is nothing on board this particular bulk freighter so, uh, so <laughs> it's, it's largely just to make that, that pay off because now that the, we're, we're making pickups from here it should trigger the other end of the uh, the shipping line. I think it's probably too soon for this to happen, but should trigger the other end of this line to uh, to actually demand some goods, um, and that in itself will help uh, the the truck system start to distribute some stuff. Uh, trucks have picked up a little bit lately, and that's all good too. See, look, plenty to move around. It's all grand. Uh, let's have a quick look at the numbers. Uh, so I rolled for to just uh, just to the end of the year. Uh, when I left you, and, uh, and we made 23 million quid last year, which is all right. Um, yeah, could be better. Uh, equally, could be worse. Um, and so uh, that's what we're going to focus on today, is I want to change up a couple of passenger lines uh, to use the latest and greatest. I want to do a little bit of a polish on the, uh, on the hub setup that we've got so far before we start to look at expansion. And that is going to be quite exciting. So I invite you to stick around. Right, before we get to the main meat of today's uh, encounter, uh, I, I, I had a notion that struck me ever so, ever so briefly. Uh, so this was the uh, rather rather low-life cheating depot that I put in in order to get the, the Locarno goods set up rolling. Uh, and, it's, uh, and as I was doing a fly pass, it occurred to me actually there was a better place for it. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that. Because um, I want to keep it in place for, for practical reasons. Um, but also I want to make it look like it's part of the, the big shebang we've got going there. So uh, the solution which presented it to myself, and I'm not, you know, because I'm some kind of rocket scientist or something, I hadn't spotted this beforehand, uh, we'll, just have, uh, we'll just have one that goes the other way. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's not bad. Or, or, I could put it over here. Yeah, why not? See, that works. Uh, is that flush? Looks like it might be. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that looks alright. 
So yeah, well, we'll we'll stick it over here next to our sidings, uh, right about there, and then we'll track it up in that way that we should. There you go. Minor details, but uh, but nonetheless riveting. Uh, and then we'll do a bit of that. There we are, smashing. There you are. See, I hadn't I haven't cheated after all. Uh, that was all part of the the same setup. Always intended to be part of the same setup. Marvelous, smooth, all of that out to hide the mistakes of the past. Uh, right, okay, so uh, what we're looking for is passenger services where there is either room to make uh, a massive amount more profit <coughs> or make profit where there currently isn't any. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, at the balance list here. Right, Burn Hood Hub Goods Bulk is losing money at the moment, but it does at least now have uh, a... Uh, can you, we not call that window up from there? No? Okay. We can do it from here though, can't we? Yeah, see, that's now rolling because it's got a full load. So uh, so that should pay off a little better. I worry about um, uh, about wait till full because uh, because you could end up sat there for a very long time if uh, if you don't get a delivery, which is, you know, this is it's worthy of consideration. So that's going to pay off now. Go on. And? 145k. See, it's not exactly setting the world alight, is it? I need that running pretty swiftly. But hopefully, with those deliveries taking place, it should get re-upped on a, on a regular basis. Anyway, Alpine Route 1, we know the problems that exist there. Uh, uh, Volum by Burn, same thing. It's a, it's a goods delivery hub runner. And, uh, and it's not making a lot of cash. I need to have a think about how we're going to make that work. Hopefully, when I add more cargo types to these hubs... That will make a bit of a difference, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Interlaken bulk freight. There is no reason at all that, that shouldn't be making a heck of a lot of cash. Hmm. Equally, Hub Alpha oil delivery. That also should be making a stack of money. That's that's more of a concern. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, no, no, it, it, it's doing a little shuttle. That's why it's giving me trouble. I've arguably got too many uh, wagons on there, uh, and that's dragging it down. However, if I can get the demand up a little bit more, it should take care of itself. Should, inverted commas, uh, take those uh, however you feel like. Anyway, the first you know, the, the first real, so I mean, uh, Alpine Route 1 is just, it's never going to make money until I find something really cheap to run on it. Uh, but then we've got uh, Gertnell and Vassen. Uh, let's have a look here. So we're running the Duke on there, and it's just not, it's not running full, and it's not a very fast line. In fact, it, as fast lines go, it just, it's, this is just, it's a slow line. That's what it is. It's not fast, it is slow. Let's see if we can't get the frame rate up a little bit here. Now, it's, it's a, it's an entirely beautiful line, but something, uh, you know, doing 40 kilometers an hour is never going to set the world alight. Uh, and also, uh, you know, faster delivery times wouldn't half help it grow. So I think I might be about to replace this with, uh, with a diesel or, uh, or possibly even an electric. Electrics tend to have, and I realize this is a, a crass generalization, but they, they do tend to have a little bit more get up and go when it comes to... Uh, these windy lines. I mean, 23k. That's not gonna. That's not gonna keep it going. Let's have a look at your finances here. See, it gets close, uh, but uh, but not good enough. Right. Okay. So if we can turn this loss into a profit, five million a vehicle. Kill all of that off. Let's go. Right. It's got 72 capacity right now. Let's uh, let's have a look and see if there's something a little bit more uh, a little bit more pungent that we can uh, that we can fling up here. Uh, Yes, I realise that pungent means smelly, uh, but it feels like the right word. So we're, we're going to find a good smelly train to run up and down here. So we've got some new stuff. Uh, so the Class 37 has arrived, uh, and that's a good one, but you really want a, a good long route to uh, to stick that one on. Meanwhile, we've got another... Uh, the, uh, let's call it the 1060 for the sake of, uh, for the sake of discussion. Uh, 160, it's proper swift. 800k a year. Oh, 37 is only, only half a million a year. But we're not going to be making that kind of cash. We need something that is going to be 
uh, a smidge more rapido. Let's have a look at the, the multi-unit. See, because I'm very tempted to go with, uh, with a 101 on there, because it gets up to speed relatively quickly. Equally, we've got this uh, uh, Dutch Plan V, 36 on that one, or 68 on the other. Actually, we'll go with the 36 and just keep them, keep them shuffling. Three and a bit million ago, half a million a year. I reckon that might do the job, you know. Uh, right, let's replace it now. I only have to pay 1.3 million. Bargain. Uh, it was suggested in the comments that it was possibly high time that uh, that I started switching to uh, to more modern trains uh, with my uh, uh, with my steam trains now being being slightly overdue. I think we're going to have to ride on board this fella, aren't we? There we go. Now, how much of a cave-in have we got at this station? Moderate. Moderate cave-in. Okay, fine. <laughs> Watch your heads. Right, let's get off there. Here it comes out. Presto changeo in a moment. There's, there's got to be a nice angle here somewhere. There's, well, there's lots of nice angles. I mean, virtually every angle we've got here is pretty pleasing. And... There we go. So it's small, but perfectly formed, and uh, and the the additional pace that it has should uh, well. Firstly, I'll up the amount of money that it makes, and secondly, uh, that it shifts a bit more should increase demand. That's the hope, because it will make it a a, a quicker choice than uh, than taking a, a, a stagecoach. Well, we don't really run stagecoaches anymore. We we phased those out quite some time ago. What's, what's the other way you can describe it? Bus. That's there. Yeah, that's what they call them. Uh, yes, we could we could uh, we could cease using a bus and uh, and start using something a little bit more uh, a little bit more modern. Where's the other one? Because this is a this is a very pleasing route. This one. Now here's the other one. It's also been replaced. Does not appear to be shifting. It's got 60 on it. Now its top speed is 100 and change. But 60 is better than the uh, than the Duke was doing, so uh, so it's only a only a matter of time. Maybe if I up the frequency on the line a little, I could get more out of that. However, I do not want to focus on a single uh, a single line only. We're going to uh, we're going to spin around. Also, I could quite happily add another couple of trains onto there and, and get the uh, get the frequency properly rolling. But we're going to do that another time. Right, let's. Uh, Let's crack on. What else have we got here? So that's uh, Wassengurtnellen. Frequency zero. I've got a bit of track that is not electrified. It's just as well I checked, isn't it? <coughs> Are you about to turn around? No path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. We're going to fix it. Uh, give me my fixing uh, fixing toolage here. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what your don't know what your dilemma is there. I know what your dilemma is though. There we go. That's that bit. Interesting. I'm not sure how I only managed to miss a couple of little bits of track. I think that's got it. Nope. Think again, smart man. You no, nope, that, that has got it. We've got it now. Waiting for a free path. Well, that's that's a slightly different matter. Although why you're waiting for a free path is beyond. I was because this one's coming down the wrong side of the track. All right, chief. Turn around. Go on. Hop it. He's, he's used a, a little bit of uh, his own incentive to. Uh, Initiative, that's the word I was after. He's using initiative in order to, uh, to find a route. Uh, and it's, uh, it's left, me, uh, left me with two trains on the same side of the track, which is no good. Right, and while I'm about it, I'm going to need a bit, of, uh, a bit of spacing to occur here. Hold on. Or have I just got it wrong? I've just got it wrong. He was going the right way. The other one was going wrong. Oh, no. Right. So turn around again. Turn, those passengers don't mind. They're, they're just enjoying the view. Uh, right, you are on the wrong side of the track. Spin it around. Let's see, should have, should have done that first. Now the question is, why were you on that side of the track? Look, I... Oh, let's see. There you go. There's a bit. Uh, oh, this is so much easier than it was in Train Fever. Dear me. Uh, train fever, if you never played it, uh, hunting down bits of track that weren't fully electrified was uh, incredibly time-consuming. 
Uh, I think I've got a, a, a 45 minute episode where I'm just looking for one tiny little piece of track. Hold on, let's go and get a, let's go and get a glamour shot here. Well, not here, obviously. That's quite nice. Now, I wonder if, because the, uh, the, the amount you make from, this, uh, from these lines is, is dictated by the maximum speed that the train can achieve, whether that is, uh, is affected by, uh, by, by bridges. That's a good appearance of a train right there. Obviously, this being a Dutch train, uh, this is the most mountainous terrain it's ever going to encounter. Um, by which I mean that uh, this wooden trestle that I've got going on here, which is incredibly scenic, uh, I usually resist a bit of wooden trestle, but in this case I'm rather pleased that I've, I've used it. Um, uh, I wonder if that is affecting the amount of money that is made. Don't know. Doesn't really matter. Let's move on. Right, that is now working again. Uh, we'll give it some time and see if, it, uh, see if it's improved the situation. Right, the looper is obviously burning money like there's no tomorrow, despite being pretty much full. Uh, and that's because it's an incredibly inefficient route. So uh, uh, your, your monies are calculated based on uh, as the crow flies travel distance, rather than the, uh, the amount of track distance you've got going on. Uh, it also takes, it does not take into account how tricky it is to actually traverse that track. So, let us go and have a look at uh, Wolfenschießen to Ennitbergen, which is currently running this, uh, this, it's an old train, for starters, but let's, uh, let's go over and say hi. There's another Duke. It is. Okay, right. Well, this, this should be this should be a profitable line. It could be just the age of the, the age of the road side. It's not very long as routes go. Uh, let's colour this in yellow so we can have a look at it. Yeah, it's just a it's a very quick hop, is what it is. If I were to extend the route, maybe, uh, or where would you extend it to? Engelberg, maybe. And you've got you've got a bit of bulldozing to do on the way. Alternatively, we could make our way all the way out to Sarnen. Oh, you silly, silly people. Have you no sense of self present Look, there's track there that is clearly intended to go places. So we could, we could spin out from Sarnen, uh, wending our way around this mountain uh, into Wolfenschießen before heading to Endebergen. I can hear you all now going, yeah, yeah, you should do that. And then add more trains to it. All right, that's the thing. That's happening. Okay, right. That's, that's going to be... The, welcome to today's project. Uh, I was going to do a little bit of upgrading, but instead we're going to uh, do a lot of upgrading. Now, this is only a little station. And uh, upgrading that in any way at all is going to cause wanton destructive... Thank you, Whistling Man. Uh, is going to cause wanton destruction. Uh, let's have a look. Two, if we double track it, two buildings will be removed. Uh, that's not the most expensive two buildings to be removed ever, but I've also got to get rid of this road, which in turn will get rid of these buildings as well, which will make uh, what was cheap into not cheap. Uh, however, what if we, to, if we get a bit of a track extension going on, keep it at one, one building will be removed, that's much more viable. Although we may have a bit of a wiggle to do at the end. As much as this track that's set there right now is fine, we're also going to need some of that. And also, while we're about it, uh, we ought to have a second street connection. This might work better if I just bulldoze the whole, the whole shebang and move it up a bit, I think. Because we've got to go through that lot anyway. Right, okay, right, we're about to spend some money. Uh, clear the station there, Chief. Uh, we're, uh, we're about to engage in something fruitless and expensive. And pause it right there. Now, I don't want to spend very much money on this. Um, let's, let's just price this up. So 226 grand to, uh, 
to shift that out of the way. Now, I think I, I can turn this into, I've got enough room to double track through here uh, if I were to build the, the main nub of the station there. But then you've got wah, a million quids worth of bulldoze there. We can get through here. Maybe I'll just single track it. Maybe that, this is a, a single track station. There we go. See, because we can get across that. Uh, and this will be uh, somewhat scenic as well. All right, right, well, let's get rid of the, get rid of the track. Bulldoze a tree just because you're in that kind of mood. Uh, right then, uh, make you a little bit longer. 320 grand to get rid of that building. Uh, high speed it, add electrification. And second street connection is just going to have to whistle, I think. I read, I'd really rather add it in. Never mind. Never mind. We won't add it in because this little conurbation that we've got going on out there is really rather pleasing. So uh, we'll uh, we'll stick with that as is right now. Let's uh, wallop that onto there, uh, and then we'll get uh, we'll get upgrading. There we are. We shall do this first, and then. Uh, and everything shall be glorious. Right, now then, we've got two... Well, I see we've got two trains coming in on here as well. If I want to up the tempo on any of this stuff, uh, I am going to need more than one platform. And this one definitely looks like it's going to be a, a bulldoze effort. So if we go two tracks, so we can run two routes, three buildings, and 350 grand, but the road's in the way. Now we could turn it into a terminal, but then you've you've hosed having a having a, a stop for for likely people going on there. Um, also, not very long, so we need to make it a bit longer. <laughs> okay, right. This is going to be a bad idea. I'm going to bulldoze this. Right. Yeah. Do it. And we're going to see if we can squeeze it in somehow. Let's get rid of that as well. All right, so the ideal is a double track station. We're not going to go terminal with this one. Uh, what varieties have we got going on here? Nothing that really that really screams at me right now. Uh, train station slope, train station regular. There we go. Two of those, 200 meters, high speed, electrified. Yeah, sure. Speak to me of your second street connection. Right, here we go. Um, Okay, that's where I want it. Right about there. Okay, I've got bulldozing regret going on. But that's where I, that's where it needs to go. This is about to escalate. Uh, ouch. Half a million. My goodness. I know it's not it's not actually that much money, but it's it's that much money, because it, it, it's going it's re reducing my uh, my ability to further extend without uh, without additional drama. Come on, there'll be a spot right here. I'll 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 accept another bulldozing. Arguably, given that this is a terminal, I didn't even need to to change it into double track, but uh, the opportunity presented itself. Right, 884,000 is too much money. That's that's a lot. I, that's more than I really wish to spend. Right. But since that's going anyway, and that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's happened. There it is. You knew it was going to happen. The point at which I just kind of go, like, all of this hanging around is just too much effort. Let's just get it done. Right, that's... Adequate. I worry a little bit about that road connection at the bottom, but I shall worry about that more now. Uh, right, let's get some road back in. Uh, small street, no, medium. We're all about medium streets these days. Let's go for something with a bike lane. Okay. I don't need anything that robust, but, uh, but I have chosen it anyway. Uh, and then we need some kind of bus stop, which these days, and who the heck knows? Uh, bus tram station. Yeah, right, okay. If I just whiz you around here. It's not trams we use here. No, it is buses. So if I stick that in there, it should inherit immediately, which it has done. 
Okay, well, all right. Well, that could have been messier. I did. I mean, it was messy already, but uh, but could have been messier. <clears throat> right, and then we will uh, we will prepare all of this for some uh, for some expansion. Right. There we go. Because this is uh, this is going to come into its own once I uh, once I start running multiple services up there. Uh, so at the moment, well, there's only only one going on. Let's, uh, let's link up to that side. And then you're coming around the corner here at uh, at, uh, at quite the uh, quite the angle. All right, hold on. If we can, so that's a sixty, which would. So it makes sense to keep it fast while you can keep it fast. Let's slow slow to sixty, and then try and maintain a little bit of speed. It's not maintaining much speed. But, uh, but, but there it is. Right. There we go. So we've got dedicated platforms for each of those, which is quite nice. Um, and then we'll merge you onto there. Or will we? Seem to be, uh, seem to be fighting me somewhat. Yeah, that's a bit better. And then we'll do the same on this side as well as we move further up the mountain. Uh, right. Let's, in fact, let's, uh, let's stick an upgrade on that section. And then, uh, and then we'll do the necessary to move on up the mountain. Move on up the mountain. I'm not happy with this. I'm not, it looks it looks pretty innocuous, but I'm not happy with that corner. Uh, it, it's uh, it feels like it's it's trying too hard. Maybe something a little bit more uh, a little bit more civilized, a little bit more genteel. Something like that. So and it's got to make quite a sharp in there in order to get round, but that's that's okay. We can we can live with that, and then we can. Uh, what we're we looking at here, one seven five. Yeah, I mean it's going to have to go some to get up to that kind of speed. So then, if we delete that back, right there we go. That's that plumbed in as well. Now we need to get the the roads sunk back into position correctly. Um, I'm okay with using a, a, a level crossing here, I think. Uh, I think I'm okay to use a level crossing. Uh, do we want parking near to the level crossing? No, that's a that's a, a, a silly thing to do. Uh, let's go with a large street and see what happens if we do that. It looks odd, but it does work. Okay, right. Well, it, in fact, it looks terrible, uh, but it does work. And you know what? Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to large street all the way uh, up to uh, where's this? That's uh, Wolf and Cheeson. Uh, I'm going to upgrade all the way to there because it was using country roads, but now with large street, there is the faintest possibility that uh, do, do I want to spend? Yeah, I do. Uh, half a million quid there, just flushed away like so many tears in the rain. Uh, but uh, but such is life. Now then, here's the, the this is the real challenge though. Can we get a uh, can we can we get a road across this bit of track, or am I going to have to come up with some other wily uh, coyote type? No, I'm not. There we go. I thought I was going to have to do something wacky there for a minute, but it's all good. Uh, right. Okay. Now we can merge this onto the bit of road here, so we need a bit of. Uh, a country road, which is a country mile away, and there, medium. In you go. Terrible place for a for a, a, a road merger that. Get right before a right before a level crossing. Speaking of which, we should put some. Uh, I don't think that uh, a single red X uh, warning for a road of this magnitude is really going to cut the mustard. Uh, let's go for this. It's a little bit of hedge schedule. Apparently, it comes in in 63, but it's 61 at the moment. But uh, I quite uh, I, I like the uh, the excessive plinthness of it all. Right, good. So that's that one. That will seal the traffic nicely. Uh, and then over here, again, I don't think people are really going to pay too much attention to that. I think there's going to be accidents of. A, a plenty if we're leaving like that one. Uh, what is this? This looks slightly more uh, official. Yeah, 
Uh, what about that one? All right, that's nice. Uh, what else you got for me? That's the stuff, though, isn't it? I think that actually might be the default one that comes in the game. So let's... Uh, Half-crossing things. Interesting. In fact, I have no idea what they do. So um, that's the one we're going for. Right, okay, smashing. So that's uh, that sorted out the station approach up here at, uh, at Ennet Bergen. Um, and then we're going to push forward out of uh, out of Wolf and Schiessen. Uh, we'll stay single track because, as discussed already, uh, to do otherwise would be madness. Now, I do want to get across this bit of road without, uh, firstly, uh, without uh, a lump in my track. Uh, so maybe if I do an extra, an extra bout of smoothing here to ensure that it's all on the same level. Since normally what I will do is I'll, I'll lay road over track because that usually leaves you free and clear, but uh, laying track over road, you can sometimes get a bit of a lump in your track, which we don't want. Uh, right, how about that? I don't want to remove the building. Still don't want to remove the building. All right, there we go, something like this. Now, how much... Yeah, you see, there's quite a bit of swan neck going on there, and uh, and that's something else we don't want to we don't want to do. So if I come out as far as here, given that that's a deceleration point anyway, it should be fine. No, that's that's not what we want. Look, let's go this way. All right, just just do that. No, do 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 that. Track trying to snap to absolutely everything. Yes, and then uh, we'll double track it because, you know, I'm feeling chancy. Uh, maybe I'll need a little bit more space to double track there. In fact, I might not even be able to double track there. Too much curvature. No! Well, there is no nothing I can do about that. Okay, right, well, try it again. Yeah, get rid of all of it. Nope, all of it. There you are. Right, so... 49 is its uh, is its most uh, aggressive angle. If we uh, come on, get across. Okay, right. There isn't going to be don't, don't or I'm going to be pushed if I want to get double track through there. But also, I want to uh, I want the, the track to then continue in that kind of direction. So maybe if uh, if I use that as a beeline. Got a little shimmy, but it's it's not so bad. Now, here, the, here's the trick, right? So what I want is I want to double track this quickly, just purely so, for, for double track points. Uh, double track uh, level crossing, rather. There we go. Can we get across there? We can get across there. There we are. Actually, it works. Hooray for us. Uh, right, magic. Well, that's that's uh, that's done it. Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah, that's horrible. Um, well, it's not actually that horrible. It's just not that clever, um, and it's going to make for quite an entertaining arrival into the station. But I can sell this on being something that has occurred due to uh, to planning regulations by plumbing in a bit of road. Uh, yeah, let's put car parking on there as well. So if we. That's that. That doesn't really fit there, does it? What's this? Is this large road? All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for something slightly more modern. I don't see. If it, I don't think it, this is even going to fit. I think you're going to have to bulldoze that building in order to sell your uh, your heinous piece of building here. In which case, we will go with the parking lot. Bloody hell! That's uh, that's quite sizable. Um, that's better. That, that's, that's much better. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll stick it like that. That's that's gargantuan. And, uh, I would love to be able to... I would love to see some cars actually parking there of their own volition, but I can't help but suspect that I will have to... Uh, I will have to plunk some in. A massive piece of, uh, of parking. Public commercial parking uh, in... Uh, in Ennetbergen. 
or Wolfenschießen. I said, Wolfenschießen, you fool. Right. Okay, well, maybe maybe that will look convincing over time. Maybe it won't. But uh, we'll have been here together. Uh, and I can conceal everything with trees, should the need arise. Right, onwards, because I've spent enough time on this bit. Uh, we're going to... It's going all the way over there. What the heck was I thinking when I came up with this notion? Um, right. I think it's got to be straight through the mountain, hasn't it? I would prefer to go around it. So go around it. You know, who's, who's telling you you have to go through it? Well... I'm not sure we'll get the elevation here, you know. Okay, keep it on the keep it on the flat. That's in the wrong place. You want about here, I reckon. Right. Uh, let's see if this will uh, this will connect up without too much crisis and drama. Now we have to drop to 104, which is a lot. However, if I put that in. We can then correct that corner because we've done the we've done the difficult bit. There we go. One sixty is a bit better. One eighty is much better. Now then, are we going to continue climbing or do we want to stay on the flat? We want to stay on the flat. There you go. That's the stuff. That's that's good. Right. Okay. Now let's smash this round as well. This is, I mean, it would be quicker to go uh, through the mountain rather than round it, but uh, we don't want to do that. What are we looking at there? 190, but we've actually, we can actually go a little bit more aggressive than that because uh, where the heck is the station? The station is basically in parallel to this road here. So as long as we're heading out in that kind of broad direction, maybe a bit like that. How are you feeling about that there, track? Track says good. Track is good. Okay. Then instead we get a we you know we get a bit of a majestic swoop along the mountainside. We get to go through some trees, which is nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm feeling increasingly positive about this as a maneuver, and it's actually not proving to be too uh, too horrendously expensive at the moment. Give it time, though. We'll we'll find a way to make it horrendously expensive. I know I've, I've spent a fair bit on uh, on getting in and out of towns, but uh, we'll see how we go. So there's stands, and stands doesn't have a connection to anything either. Hmm. Now from Sarnen, I think we could run a, a line that goes out coastally through stands, uh, and then goes I don't know where. We'd well, want to go to Ennitbergen again. But uh, Ennitbergen is, is, uh, is also the end of the line. Uh, you've also got Luzerne that is underserved at the moment. So maybe, or I should say not served at all, so maybe we go to Stans and then out to Luzerne. That feels better, doesn't it? All right, good. And because this is the, the end of an existing setup that we've got going on here, there's, there's no avoiding this, unfortunately. Uh, that, you know, well, that's my train of thought completely derailed and uh, and mortgaged. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I don't know. Flipping it, that was expensive. We've also got these two th kind of thready track bits here that don't currently go anywhere. But this is at the end of a, a end of the line. I think it's, is it the Intercity that we're running here. It is the Intercity. Then we could just extend the Intercity all the way out to Wolfenschiessen, or we could run it as a local service. Um, or we could pa power through all the way to Ennitbergen, um, skipping Wolfenschiessen. There are so many different options that we can uh, we can undertake here. Anyway, the, the, the tricky bit is going to be we're going to want to snap our track here, if possible, alongside this road. Now this is going to be the the route that goes to Stans. Do you want to connect there? No, so I offer you a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, support in your manoeuvres. Right. Okay. And then we got. Uh, so we got a interesting. Okay. So we got a double track line coming off there. I've now merged that for reasons best known to myself. Uh, this will be the route that heads out to Wolfenschiessen. Although strictly speaking, that middle line should as well. Well, where else is there near here? We could use the last line to go up to Engelberg as some kind of mountain route. Maybe uh, Engelberg, uh, Inertkirchen, and Gadman. 
hmm, maybe on a loop, right? So we could we could loop round like this. That's insane. Okay, I mean, because I, I don't even need to look. The fact that we've got little white bits going on here basically means that that's going to be a, uh, a, a quite the elevation. Maybe we'll get away with it by uh, by going underground. No idea. Anyway, let's uh, let's set that track up just willy nilly, going generally in the right direction. Right. There we are. Right. That's it. Now then. You are now heading this way, sort of. No, no, don't snap. You're heading this way. We need to we need to separate the streams here in order to make this work. Alright, where are you? You are there. Okay. Nice straight line. Lovely. Now then, is the the, the altitude is virtually the same. The elevation. The altitude is perhaps a, a little highfalutin as a way of describing the, the, the change there. But something like that. 163 to drop down to. I think we can possibly make that. Can we make that any better? Well, obviously we can. Uh, if we back the track up a, a smidge here. Is that another bit there, or is that just... No, that's the end of the, the, the previous bit. Right, okay, good. Now then, uh, all the way down there, like that. And no loss in velocity. Oh, yes. Pro track building skills with kernel failure. Uh, good, right, yes, that is the right side of the track. Everything's golden. Let us uh, mash this up here. Right, now, whatever we stick on there, it's going to have uh, plenty of time in order to, uh, to get up, uh, you know, a good, uh, a good head of speed um, and, uh, and, and, and do the business, get the thing done, do the hustle. Uh, and therefore, I'm pondering exactly what, uh, what loco I should be sticking on there. Let's get this uh, country road stuck back in. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll use the road mods in the future at some point. In fact, I'm going to use some now. Here we go. Here's a... No, here's a... Uh, no, here's a... Uh, no, I don't like that one. I want... Ooh, highway from 1964. We're ahead of the curve. There we go. Like that. Uh, down, please. They are half a million quid for a, a highway junction uh, that uh, that includes a bit of tunnelling. It, it looks good though. I, you know, I'd, as much as I uh, as much as I haven't used it properly yet, these these road uh, adjustments, modifications, different styles, uh, they they really do look the part. Right, I'm not going to expand the intercity, not yet. Um, Instead, we shall uh, we shall occupy the platform. It does not. So if we look at the intercity now, it's coming in on that one. Uh, actually, it's and so. What am I doing here? We've got these two potentially that are hooked. I'm, I, I I think. I, well, I can see already that I'm going to have to do some jiggery pokery in order to get this uh, this working properly. So we're going to come in on that side. So I want to. I want to. Bit of uh, bit of points action there, so we're going to come in on that side. Right. Okay. Go. Let's go find my little train, which is rather like My Little Pony, but for gentlemen. Not that there's anything wrong with gentlemen liking My Little Pony. Uh, right. Here we go. Wolf and Cheese and Ennit Bergen. Wolf and Cheese and add in uh, a quick hop up to Sarnen. And then after you go to Ennitbergen, no, wait, wait, after Sarnen, go back to Wolfenschieffen. There we are. Right, that's got you. Uh, right, let's just make sure that's working. It currently isn't helpful. Uh, and we can fix that by just changing the platform that we're going in on uh, at Sarnen. Right here, you, there, go to... Three, is it? Why, yes, it is. Okay, good. 
Uh, and then we'll, if we did, if I stick some signals on there, that'll that'll sort them right out. Uh, let's do that here. I uh, could use this potent signal, but I want to wait until I've got all four tracks in use before I do that. I know, I know, it's it's chickening out. I could use it any time. Right, so we're going in on that side, and then we're leaving on this one. So I'm going to put my signal here. See, fixes it immediately. Me and signals, I know what I'm doing. Uh, right. I'd actually, what I shouldn't have done there was close that window. I want to. I want to keep an eye on uh, on whether that's working or not. Maybe I'll. Yeah. You see, look, it's not. Uh, it's not done the switcheroo over here either. So if we do something similar. I'm not even using these to make a proper block at the moment. I'm just using them to uh, to kind of mark the path. Uh, right, okay, good. So that's that all set up. Now, I'm going to need an additional train on here, which means I need to figure out a, a depot somewhere. But initially, let's just bang a, uh, a new loco in place of, uh, of this aging beast, which is 55 years age, which is too old. Right. Uh, this was supposed to be, you know, nice and quick. Now then, what am I going to do with this? It's got a long run, so I want some speed out of it. Obviously, we're not going to use the HXD 1G2X, one of my favourite trains, um, because uh, I don't know, it's not time for that yet. That just hasn't had its uh, date of inception correctly done. Uh, for the, 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 the Alco PAs, I know I've got a lot of Alco fans out there, uh, they will be used uh, on a specific line. I think I might even replace the Flying Scotsman with them. I know, hold on to your hats. There's going to be an international riot if I do that. Uh, you know what? This, this Class 37 might do the trick. Really? It's half a million a year. It should make the money. All right, let's do that. Yeah, um, I, I don't. I, I doubt I've got rolling stock. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Hold on, that's that's British Rail. Terrific. So is that. And this, right? We're going to go with uh, we're going to go with these ones. Uh, tourist standard open. Okay. Uh, what do we want here? We want five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Remembering that these stations aren't particularly long. Do we want five or do we want six? I think we want six. There we go. That answers that then. Right. It's going to cost me 11 million quid. Youch. Let's uh, let's see it in motion. Right. There we go. Let's let's see it. In, there we go. Come on. Up the tempo there, Chief. We're, uh, we're, we've, got, we've got work to be doing. Actually, I ought to plumb in a bit of road that runs along here, possibly level crossing there, because we've got a lot of unused real estate here. Let's have a look. Have we got room for a... Oh, we've easily got room for six. You could probably get, I don't know, seven, eight in there, maybe. Perfect. All right, let's find out. Let's find a good, uh, a good strategic location to watch the, uh, watch the oncoming action. There we are. There you go. So, uh, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, less progress than I might have anticipated because I, I decided to build a new route for, for well, I suppose for good reason, but uh, as is so often the case, got a little bit distracted, built a new route. Say la vie. Uh, anyway, I'll be back next time. We're going to continue working on the goods hub, but before I do so, uh, I'm probably going to put uh, an Alco PA or two on a on a high earning line um and uh because that, that should that should bring in some readies uh anyway i've been colonel Fairley. thank you for watching uh chuck a like at this one if you enjoyed it and please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already otherwise how will you ever find another video i create how will you answers on a postcard if you'd be so kind uh, i'll catch up with you very soon thanks for watching cheerio